Hi guys, this is Skidflash here, and welcome back to Let's Play The World Ends With You. I'm feeling in a productive mood today, so let's actually get stuff done, shall we? Um, I'm also <laughs> recording while people are sleeping right now, so I'll be half sad. Um, s s quiet, I mean, yes, that's the word. Say Neku. Do you know where Dozenzaka got its name? Oh yes, by the way, it's also trivia time with Joshua, because, you know, I just gotta p put in every single Joshua line, because I love him so much. There are two stories. One attributes to the name Owada Dogen. It's a bandit. He was descended from a Kawakai Japanese name pyramid. You don't say. The other story claims to be the name from a temple. Dozen Zaka comes from a lot of Japanese literature. Ever read Ed Edigawa Rampos? Edigawa. Isn't that... Nah, who cares. I mean, you should, just think. I'm actually getting better with, um, you know, post com me, like, um, actually reading the dialogue. Except then. Are you sure? Alright, pop quiz. Name the bandit who gave Dozen Zaka its name. Shit, Joshua. He called my bluff. I'm pretty sure it's Odawa Dogen, looking back at it, but right now I can't pay attention. No, wrong, Neku. Someone forgot to put on their good list in their ears, hmm? So that's lovely. Um, now we should actually do stuff. I just wanted to keep that line in. Um, at his shop, you can actually buy one of the two Big Bang, um, Nexus Ray, uh, pins. It's a set. Although, I like my Anugas pin because it's, like, three times as more powerful. At the expense, you can only use it once, whereas Nexus Ray, you can use, like, three times. Anyway, so actually getting these secret reports. Didn't I just say just a few minutes ago that I actually wanted to get stuff done? Anywho, so when you have to get to this Reaper, it's a required Reaper, he wants to play you in a game of Tin Toon Slammer. So, um, I almost thought I paused it for myself. Um, what you want to do is try your best. Use the strategy of, uh, I, I'm trying really, really hard to win this battle, but, uh, things are just not going my way. I mean, really, oh, oh, I almost got one. I mean, the strategy is working, hasn't been doing jack so far, but you know, I think I can prevail, right? It's my final pin, I just gotta aim, maybe, no, damn it. Oh, I killed the pin! Yeah! I actually made it, it made my way in the world today. Um, but you're supposed to lose that fight to get the secret report. Woohoo, my first victory. Thanks for sucking so bad. <laughs> you're welcome, because we did have to take a conscious effort just to suck that bad. Um, but you get biker gloves, that's actually a pretty good attack boost, I might wear that later. I was saying earlier that um that my post commentary reading has been getting better, but I haven't. Don't think it is. Usually, my I think I've come to the conclusion that it takes like one or two seconds longer than it takes for me to read in my head. Is usually how it works. And that pig just went down in seconds. Um, at this point in the game, I start actually. I haven't. I had to actually start hunting for pigs because I didn't do it when I was actually playing the game normally. So you'll see me going for a lot of pigs throughout Beats Week and Joshua's Week because I miss stuff. Here in Dozenzaka, Day 5. I'm pretty sure we have no business here in Dozenzaka on Day 5. Or maybe we do. One of the times we don't. Dozen... No, wait. This is Udagawa. E either way, Udagawa is so out of the way from the average beat and grind. I don't know what I was saying there. Oh, but finally, we can finally do a rematch with Suzuki in Korea, right? Remember how um <laughs> the first time I did this battle it kind of raped me? So, you know, time for redemption, and what do you know, these guys are jokes, even on ultimate mode, thanks to our grinding. They even have a super attack, I don't think I showed that the first time. Or ever, actually, I don't think I will ever show it, who knows, maybe I will. But, um, they do have a super attack that they get from Pug Passing, which I find really interesting. Um, they also drop Lefty Cat. They always drop Lefty Cat. I had this weird primitive, like, I had this weird thought that, like, if you kill them, um, if you kill them with, um, if you, if you kill Korea or Azuki, you get two different pins. But, uh, apparently you'll get the same pin. This is me testing it out. Um, I'm just gonna cut me doing this battle again because I actually do get the same thing out of it. So, yay. For yeah, so this is me getting the exact same pin, even though I killed Azuki instead of Korea for the final finishing blow. Which is the same thing. I didn't, I didn't think that the game would actually be that complex. Because it's not. Um, during that time, I did realize that beat is friggin powerful like literally his basic attacks will do more than like Neku can with his like puck like high efficiency pins which is normal even though Pete beat is pretty damn powerful I still prefer Joshua just cuz I I mean come on <laughs> really now I love Joshua why wouldn't I use him um but here we are we can go to day six now we did day five again blowing through these sort of kind of not really we, it took like what five minutes just to do one day um, oh yeah, I forgot to do, I, I kind of
pull the drop the ball here. But basically, to get this secret report is um, this is the day where Black Noise starts attacking everybody and everything. And what you want to do is um, just ignore them. Don't help them. Be a jerk, which is in fact the hint. Um, so now we actually have to fight these guys. Remember, I I, I didn't think these guys were actually necessary, but apparently they are to get the secret reports. We fought them a long, long, long time ago, and apparently we're just doing it now. I don't know. I'm that kind of a, that kind of bugs me. I mean, I know it's only noticeable. I mean, no, it's noticeable even without me pointing it out, but especially when I point it out. That this um, there's a significant frame rate problem when I'm ever post calming these. I don't know what what caused it, cause like when I normally play through the game, yeah, the frame rate can get bit bad, but it doesn't get like the problem isn't it's good, like dropping. It is, but it's going like at some points in time, it's like, oh, you know what? How about I make up for it by playing like 100 frames per second? Oh, and the Reaper bit the dust, of course. Because we didn't help him. I'm pretty sure he died even if we did help him. So everything's useless. So now, sec, um, helping, helping buddy number two. Remember this sad, sad scene? Why am I showing this instead of skipping it? Um, could it be because I'm incompetent? That's uh, a tantalizing possibility. But now it's gone. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Um, without a partner, he won't be far behind. Do we help him? Uh, uh, uh no. <laughs> Don't. Be a jerk. Oh, no, wait. Damn consciousness. Consciousness. Uh, I don't even know. Either way. Okay, yes, yeah, skip. Skip, skip, skip. Do I skip the battle? That's totally unnecessary to show. And it is, in fact, just a few crabs that is totally unnecessary to, in fact, show. Nope, I, I actually spend my time killing these guys. I'm really bad at aiming now, aren't I? Either way, again, B does a ton of damage. But he only does a ton of damage to one enemy, which is, again, what makes Joshua a teensy bit better, especially if he can use Jesus Beam properly. Because Joshua will edge him out in terms of da um, battle. So yes, look at that high-speed text going through. <laughs> if only I could read that, hmm? Anyways, so that's the second person we've kind of bailed and didn't help. And, uh, yes, plot. <laughs> For now, it's Suzuki and Korea. Here we are. Hmm? Them too? The dog is in on it too? Haha, <laughs> one of them is a dog. Do we help them? <laughs> no. We can't risk it. Wise choice. <laughs> We're pulling out. Yes, ma'am. He doesn't give a shit. But, um, for being a pussy, <laughs> to sit for lack of a better word, um, we get the ninja garb, which is kind of fitting, because, you know, you run away like a ninja would. Except a, p a pussy ninja, just saying. And day seven, we can do day seven. Of course, we have enough time to do that, right? Of course, we have plenty of time. I'm pretty, I'm kind of miscalculating things now, aren't I? So here for day seven, in Scramble Crossing, you need to find. Um, this is me dropping the ball, um, and partly the guide being very, very, very not telling me where to go. It says, and I hate the fact that Black Noise always have to do this. Black Noise are really annoying. Um. It says, it, the guide said above 104, and I didn't know it meant literally above 104, like in this, it, ha it said nothing about Shibu main store. But anyways, so this boss fight is with good old Mino Nimoto. Um, fun fact, I never realized this, but this is actually a really, really good place to grind for Shadow Matter. Just because he infinitely spawns these little, like, you know, Black Noise and Black Noise do in fact grind Shadow Matter, you can get a lot for this one fight. Um, but before you do that, you actually might want to grind for, um... You might want to chain battles and grind for drop rate, of course, because it's, I'm not going to get pretty much any Shadow Matter, because, you know, that's pretty rare for the drop rate that I have. So we can fight Shio Minimimoto again. I mean, I'm pretty sure last time I did this, I achieved him out with the, um... I achieved him out with the Meteor Attack, and this time I'm going to be achieving him out with, um... The fact that I'm overpowered is all hell. So we can still do that. I, I do seem to not know what the hell I'm doing though. But you know, so this is basically how show show's boss fight works. Um, he'll make he'll make black noise and absorb them on one screen and turn to the giant monster to turn him back. You um kill all the black noise on the other screen. Yeah, I'm finally explaining how this boss fight works. It's not like we only did it 20 parts ago or something. Um, his ultimate drop is something I want to hunt for, and luckily the game was generous enough to give it to me without having to meet look for it. But it's another one of those skull pins whose pin set's name I still do not know. Um, it's what? Shadow? Fierce's Flame, of course. It's one of those. It's supposed to be hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil, and 
than some other one that doesn't fit into the trio and is just there. But anyways, so we got that here at um A East. <laughs> what are we gonna do in A East? I'm I'm actually very wonderful wondering. Yes, yeah, just go to A East actually. That's right. Hey, it's you guys. Oh no. Oh oh okay. Talk about incompetence. That kind of spooked me. Of course, that's my pop-up screamer in this dark room. Except you know. Adobe Air is just the most frightening thing in the world now, isn't it? Don't bail. We had to, I don't know, maybe this will come of use. Did you find your microphone? Afraid not. I'm sorry to hear that, but it's cool. We got a new one. <laughs> really? We're gonna bust the cir indie circuit with this baby. Blow a freaking hole in the music scene. Oh man, I just remember Triple Seven died. Talk about a downer. Are we gonna major that thing with a microphone? I'd like to see that concert. No joke. What the heck kind of music are they making? Yay for banter. But anyways, for talking to that bunch, or maybe it's running away from that bunch, I'm not sure one of the two, it's one of the two. We get a boy's uniform with blazer, because that totally fits the scene. Um, now what? Yeah, we got all the secret reports, so I guess in the next part we can read them. But because I have so much excess time on my hands, I might as well do Beats Day 1. I won't be reading Beats Day 1 next part, but you know, at least I can get it out of the way and I'll have less to do next part. So for Beats Day 1, um, there are two, uh, once you bail to here because that's what happens in the story even though I'm cutting out so much of it you have to fight these two noise separately make sure you don't chain the battles because if you do chain the battles you're not gonna get either of them and that's gonna be annoying um I do realize that when I'm doing these secret reports that in fact like I'm doing it for for sake of the guide and for the sake of you know the story that it offers because there's a lot of story but when I think about it as a sake of a guide like really there are some things where just like <laughs> Writing beats LPing. Like, you can't argue about that. Like, it'd be so much more convenient if you guys are actively looking for the guide uh, to get all these secret reports to just, like, you know, look up a guide. Because that's, in fact, what I'm just translating what's on the guide into paper. And I'm also skipping a bunch of, like, you know, uh, pigs because, you know, I got them in the game, so it makes even thing everything even more complicated. But I'd like to think that I'm actually doing this for the story, because the, what the secret reports talk about is pretty nifty. We'll be talking about that next time. Hopefully, nec I think next time I'm actually going to live calm reading, because, you know, reading is just too exciting to not live commentate over. But, um, mostly because I'm incompetent with the post-commentary reading thing. Either way, we have to fight Korea at, um, bad frames or something. But again, just ridiculous. Beat is a powerhouse. Mostly because he has that whole 100 attack thing going for him. I'm sure he has some pretty good threads on too. I should probably be paying more attention to that because really, it does make the difference. And we got Big Crunch, the other set of the Nexus Ray pin. So now we have the Nexus Ray set. It works exactly like my Anugus pin does, but it has three uses instead of one. And it's less powerful. So um, here when we can go to the Statue of Hajiko, which, actually, which is actually much later than most of the other first days. Because, you know, they run away. Um, we get girls uniform with blazers, so that's lovely. And I think that's all we're going to be doing next part. We got a lot of, we got a decent amount done. Four secret reports, maybe not that much, but a good, a good amount. So in the next part, we'll be getting more of Beat's secret reports. So oh, wait, no, 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 we'll be reading. So until then, this has been Skid Flash. Hope you've enjoyed watching. The part's over. Bye.